Hi, I'm Rotary Swing Instructor Clay Ballard, and today we're going to do a review on Jordan Spieth. He was the youngest PGA Tour winner since 1931, has a great swing, and we're going to talk about weight shift and posting up on your left side. So we recently done have done a few videos on the Rotary Swing talking about weight shift. I'm going to show you how these apply to Jordan Spieth's swing and how he does a really good job of getting power in his swing through the proper weight shift. Okay, so first let's go ahead and get started in the takeaway. and I'm going to talk about rotation of the hands and arms. And this is something I get a lot of questions on. And you'll notice that Jordan has a fairly closed club face as he's making his takeaway. So if I look at his face as his club is parallel to the ground, try to draw a straighter line this time. There we go. His club face is fairly closed. So it's probably maybe 30 degrees closed or so. And this can relate to the backswing. If, if you don't make the proper compensation, then you're going to be fairly closed in your backswing. So if your face tends to point up toward the sky and doesn't match your left arm, then you'll see what, what we're talking about here and how that could affect that. So as he completes his backswing, his hands have to rotate counter or, uh, clockwise more than usual to get that club back on on track and back on plane at the top. So his hands are going to have to rotate this way as he swings to the top so that he's in a good position at the top of his backswing. And at the top of his backswing, he's done that. He's, he's made the correct compensation so that his left arm is now square and his club face is square to his left arm and his club is over his right shoulder. So he's in a great position at the top from a fairly closed takeaway position. So if you have a closed takeaway, you're going to need to rotate your hands twice as much in the backswing clockwise to get it back on track or your club face is going to be closed. If you're if you're perfect in the backswing, your club face is vertical, then you won't have to make as much a rotation. You won't have to rotate as aggressively at the top of the swing. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is weight shift. And this is something that I've done a couple videos on here recently, and this really helps you to get power and to smooth out your swing. So, as he's completing his backswing, his weight's actually going to be shifting to the left, and we'll do a face-on view here in a second to show that. But also, let's take a look at his head here. And notice how his head and his hips are actually dropping and he's kind of getting some leverage from the ground loading up into the ground as he's still completing his backswing so he's still swinging back swinging back now he's just now started down we can see his hips have dropped about a half inch his head's dropped about an inch and as he continues into the downswing they're going to continue to drop until about halfway down into the swing so here his hands are about chest high now we've noticed his hips have dropped about an inch and a half, which is good. He's building leverage from the ground, and his head is dropping about three inches, which, same thing. It's just saying that he's, he's building up some power into the ground, squatting down, so that now when he posts up and he begins to release the club, we're going to see that he's going to be able to post into his left side, drive up through the ground, and transfer energy from the ground through his club. So that's a real big key. And that's something I see people, when they do try to post up, they wait way too late. We need to be starting this as we're still swinging back. So the head's dropping, our weight is shifting left as we're still swinging back to the top of the backswing. All right, so let's take a look at the same move from face on. And what we're gonna notice, the exact same thing we talked about from down the line, he's gonna start shifting to the left and squatting down a little bit or loading into the ground as he's still swinging back. So let's go ahead and mark the top of his head as I did on the down the line view. And you will notice as he completes this back swing, his head starts to drop. So his head's shifting down about an inch. I'm also gonna mark his hip lines here, or the right hip and the left hip. And we're gonna see that as he starts to complete the back swing and starts the down swing, his hips are already well on their way to shifting. So he's, his hands are still above his head right here, just almost above his head, and he's already begun to shift two or three inches to the left. As we pause his hands in front of his chest, as we did from down the line, now he's shifted a good four or five inches to the left, and as we saw from down the line, his head is also dropping. So what he's doing here is he's loading his body in a position to where he can apply leverage and post up on his left leg as he completes the downswing and, and the release, and in that way he's going to have more power to release his hands. So this is a loading energy move where he is squatting down into the ground. Now he's going to post up on his left side, as we'll see, and that's going to give him more energy to deliver his hands to the ball. So he's actually raising back up as he completes the release and lets his arms fire into the back of the ball here. So we can see his head is actually coming up a little bit. So really nice use of in energy with the ground and getting leverage from the ground to release the club 
and get a lot of club head speed. And that's one of the reasons that he hits the ball as far as he does. Okay, so if you're joining us on YouTube, I want you to click the link on the bottom right hand side of your screen. This is a new video I just shot on weight shift. And it's going to allow you to, to make this move very, very easy. So there's a lot of things going on here, and I have a drill. It's going to help you to, to take a step, transition your weight to the left, load your body into the ground so that you're in a very powerful position as we see Jordan Spieth in here, and then you'll be ready to release that club with some power. And it's a very simple drill. It's not going to take um, a lot of time or, or effort to get this drill down. It's really going to help to increase your club head speed. So I look forward to seeing you guys next week with next week's PGA Tour winner. Good luck with your golf game. Now it's time to take action. Don't let another year pass and still be frustrated with your golf game. This is your year to beat all of your friends. Go to the description below and click the link to sign up for your free membership. It will never cost you a dime and you'll receive over two and a half hours of detailed eye-opening video lessons. Plus you will be able to see the remainder of this video only available if you click the link on this particular video. Be the first of your friends to join our 40,000 plus free members. We look forward to having you on our team.